One thing I hear clients say all too often is, but I'm just a teacher. I'm just a teacher. But we are so much more than that. Oftentimes we think that we don't know nothing about anything except teaching. But if you sit back and make a list of all of the things that you do for work, the list is never ending. We're problem solving, we're designing curriculum, we're creating resources, we're taking boring information and making it engaging. We're doing public speaking, organizational tasks, planning, like there's just a huge list of things that we're good at. And we know a whole lot about a bunch of different areas that other people have no knowledge in. So before you think that you don't have a skill or that you just don't know enough, teachers are the most competent workers. It's literally why like when COVID happened and all these teachers started transferring out of the classroom, jobs were looking for teachers because they know so much and we're so high performing. So you know things about lots of things. Don't ever think that you don't know anything except something that is teaching related because yes, you can take something that you learned in, a, in the classroom and transfer it into money, but you have tons of skills that are going to help you with this business, right? So pause, exhale, you're competent and you are great because teachers know everything. We know all of the things, right? And if we don't know it, we're going to learn it. And that's that's what we do. We monitor, we adjust, we learn, we grow, and we go. Now I'm going to come ask you this now. Is teaching easy? Do you feel like it's an easy job being a teacher? I'm going to assume that you're thinking no, because I don't think teaching was easy. But let me tell you, monetizing my social media and creating a multiple six-figure business was easier than teaching. There's, there's no way around it. You get to take the parts of teaching that you like and you get to decide what it is that you're going to specialize in and what you're going to turn into money. You get to take out all the parts you don't like and all the things that you don't enjoy about teaching and you can ignore them because if you're a teacher, that's listening to admin, having a district that you fall under. You have a principal, you have parents. Being a teacher is, is kind of people pleasing, right? We, we want <laughs> the what's best for our students. But I know, at least in my experience, oftentimes your hands are kind of tied. That's what being a teacher is. Your, your hands are tied and you're trying to make people happy by teaching students and seeing them thrive but with restraints on, right? That's what being a teacher is. It's people pleasing. And I hate saying that, but I, I guess by nature, I am a people pleaser, which I never categorized myself as till I started thinking about how I maneuver and operate in the classroom. And that's what I am. So that then brings me to ask you, what do we want? We want some freedom. We want to be trusted. We want no judgment. Right? I don't want somebody coming in to my business with a clipboard, taking notes about what I'm doing right and wrong. I don't want evaluation sent to some business state observing thing that rate ranks me and rates me and tells me if I'm doing my job right. I don't want somebody who isn't in my position telling me how to do it better. We want freedom. We want the power and the choice to do what's best and what we love and that's what creating a business does for you you're going to take back some of that control that we've lost to the classroom because let's be real like even if i'm like oh i do what i want at school at the end of the day i still am puppeteering to a certain extent you know there, there's just no way around it so this business is going to take back your control you're going to do what you love. You're going to monetize what you're passionate about. And you're going to take all of those skills that you learned from being just a teacher and you are going to turn it into something great and amazing. And that's what I'm here to help you do is to uncover whatever that passionate thing is. Take all of your teacher skills and turn it into a money making machine, essentially, that from posting videos online doop, 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 from teaching people things that you are now making money 
way easier, way easier money than you could make at school. And you might be thinking like, girl, that doesn't sound true, but I've never had a, a single day of my business that was more stressful, tiring, or challenging than even like my easiest day of teaching, plain and simple. So you are not just a teacher, you're brilliant, you're resilient, you're amazing, and you're gonna do this damn thing and you're gonna do it well. So exhale, say nice things to yourself, and remember, teaching is the hardest job in the world. So this, this is gonna be a cakewalk, right? Can't be harder than teaching. <laughs>